So in the time-honored tradition of learning how to program, we developed something known as high-low, a number guessing game. And that's actually why we talked about math.random just a second ago, is because we can now sort of pile in all these basic structures that we've talked about, loops, conditionals, math.random, getting a user's input. And we can now play this simple game, which is simple enough. You know, uh, I say, uh, guess a number. Go ahead, guess a number between 0 and 100. Higher. Higher. Lower. Lower. Higher. Lower. You got it. No, you see, what we can do is we build that design out. So suddenly, instead of it being me telling you and, you know, maybe, whatever, I was lying the entire time, what we're doing is we're generating that random number. And so now what we do is we get our input from the user. We're getting this. Now, this guess, we call this something known as my sentinel value. And we call it that sentinel value because what we're doing is that's going to control my loop. If we take a look, you notice I see that I only want to really tell my user if they are too high or too low if they did not guess the correct number. And then in turn, if they didn't guess the correct number, I do a little bit of a, a conditional statement here where I tell them whether or not they were too high or too low. And I have to determine that on my end as well. Well, once I've done all of this, once I've done this kind of determining, I have to get a new guess. And the reason why is because if I don't get a new guess from the user, as I go back up to the top of my loop, I reevaluate the conditional statement. Again, I did not change guess because I didn't do this bottom portion, I'm going to run into an infinite loop where it says too high or too low because I never changed my sentinel value. And that's one of the main things with a loop is we have to change that value, otherwise we get stuck in the infinite loop. In our case, what we do is at the end, we at least prompt the user, we prompt the user one more time so that we at least are changing it each time, if that makes any sense.